Hey, what's uh, B Operation iDroid here? And a new version of DSoid has been released, and this is update 1.9.14, and it fixed compile options so it doesn't crash on non neon devices. Now, you don't need to know what that is, you just need to know that there are more devices compatible in this new version of DSoid. And you have may realize that I missed an update of DSoid, and that was the last one, which was only out for about a day. And that was update 1.9.13. And that update was pretty much just faster. The description of the update was faster. That's it. The developer says that in the that update, it was faster. So I'm here to check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Google Play Store to find that update and update my DSoid. So I'm going to click here and go into my apps. I'm sure you guys know how to update your applications. And I'm going to click on DSoid. And just to confirm, let's scroll down here, and as you can see, what's new? Fixed compile options so it doesn't crash on non-neon devices. And I go ahead and update, accept, and download. Alright, so I've been getting feedback from my subscribers. Thank you guys. Some of you guys have been saying that you've been seeing an increase in frames from up to 3 to 5 frames. So that's great. That is really cool, and I'm very excited to see if this update is indeed faster. Because I'm really excited about that. And I'm also happy for some of you guys that were unable to play DSoid before and are now able to because of the compatibility update. Anyways, my update has finished and I'm going to go ahead and up and open DSoid. I'm going to go into download where I have my games. And I'm going to click on Pokemon Diamond, the game that I use to test out all the DSoid updates. So... Once it goes ahead and loads and opens, we'll be able to tell if it has received a significant update or not. Alright, so it's loading. Okay, let's see. Alright, gonna skip the opening cinematics here. I can't tell right now if it's gone any faster because the loading screen is usually pretty fast. But I'm going to go into my saved file and then we can check. Okay, going to go ahead and load my saved in-game file even though I do have a saved state. But I'm going to use this to test my speed on Route 201. So I will be commencing a speed test now. Okay, so I have DSoid 1.9.14 on the left and DSoid 1.9.12 on the right. And if you're watching the screen right now, you can tell that there's a significant difference between 1.9.14 and 1.9.12. It is definitely faster and I'm extremely happy with this update. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then subscribe for more awesome DSoid update videos and explanations as they are released. If you'd like to learn more on DSoid, then check out my Pokemon Pearl on a Nexus 7. Thanks for clicking that subscribe button, and welcome to the operation.